Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How you doing today? We're an online investment firm that actually is trying to help you get your dough straight. So we'll do everything we can to teach our customers along the way and help them. We're an online investment firm. We actually get help from somebody if you want help. So I hope you check us out at Jazz Wealth. Hey, one of the things we help our customers with, it's tax time, it's that time of year, is excess contributions. Did, did you make an excess contribution? We well, can fix it. It's not that big of a deal. Just make sure you follow the right steps. Now, a lot of people think of an excess contribution as simply, hey, the IRA limit for the year was, say, 6000 for you, and you put in 6100 That's certainly one of the cases, but it's not the only case. It could be that you contributed to a Roth IRA, found out your modified adjusted gross income was too high. You guys know that from watching the channel there. Um, And maybe you have to remove some money. Maybe you were not eligible to contribute up to the full amount, or you weren't eligible to contribute at all to a Roth IRA. That would also be qualified, uh, classified as a uh, excess contribution. Now, prior to this year, it could also have been that you were over the age of 70 and a half and you contributed to a traditional IRA. It's not a big deal anymore going forward now to the, thanks to the SECURE Act, uh, but that could be a reason of a, an excess contribution as well. Um, it could also be that you had more, uh, you contributed more than your earned income. Parents, I'm talking to you. This happens a lot. You're not allowed to do this. So if your child, let's say they're 18, they got a job part, part, part time, and they're going to school, let's say they made $3,000 a year and you thought it'd be exciting to put $6,000 in their Roth IRA, not allowed. That's an excess contribution of $3,000 and the IRS will go after your kid not you. So uh, be sure about that as well. Remember, in a Roth IRA, you can only contribute up to your earned income. If you only earn 4000 in a year, that's all you can contribute, right? Think about it. The IRS is going to be like, where, where'd you make all this extra dough? You were told us you made 4000 but somehow you contributed six to a Roth. Side topic. Anyways, all right, here's what you do. The, the, you're going to fall in a couple different categories here. It depends on where we're at. So like right now, if you had contributed, it, let's say for 2019, you contributed uh, too much to a IRA. Let's use that as the example, um, and you have not filed your taxes yet, then you simply want to remove the excess contribution plus any earnings on that contribution. This can be a nightmare to try to figure out because maybe your excess was only $500, right? So what I'm going to do is use the example of somebody who contributed to a Roth IRA and they were not allowed to. So they contributed $6,000 for the year and let's say they accidentally went $6,500. All right. So before taxes are filed, you can remove the excess, which is the 6,000, and then you have to remove, uh, sorry, 6,500, and then you have to remove any earnings. So if you put in 6,500, but your account balance at the end of 2019, not today, end of, don't give them extra money, at the end of 2019, your account balance will say 6,600. Well, you have to take the 6,500 out, but you also have to take out the 100 as well. It's in the IRS terms, we're removing the contribution and we're removing the earnings. Now, what happens if you have a loss? Uh, Last year, you probably didn't, right? Uh, Because the markets just went straight up. So uh, if you happen to have had a loss, you put in 6,500 accidentally, and now your account balance at the end of 2019, 1231, 2019, was 6,400, well, you're removing everything, okay? You're allowed to to remove everything. The loss will not count against you. It won't help, it won't hurt, whatever, but you're allowed to take that out. Okay, um, here's what happens. If you had 6,500 and you made a profit, you take, of course, earnings and contributions and earnings out, uh, you may have to pay tax on, uh, well, you're gonna have to pay tax on the earnings, but you may have to pay the 10% penalty as well, all right? So you gotta work with your accountant on this one. Not everybody in every case, that's a separate video. We should have an accountant on here. But that's what you do if you have not filed your taxes yet. You just simply go to your brokerage firm, say excess contribution form, help me, somebody, and you remove the excess plus the earnings. Then you will uh, get a tax form, of course, or you report that on your taxes. If It is after tax day when you're watching this and you go, oh my gosh, I contributed too much and the earnings, um, and now it's June, right? It's actually okay. Uh, You get a six-month extension. So you have actually until October 15th to remove the excess plus the earnings, the earnings that you made on the excess uh, contribution. Um, So you, you have until time to do this. But if you already filed your taxes and it's between April 15th and October 15th, you can still remove the excess plus the earnings and then just file an amendment, right? It's a little bit of a pain, but it's a lot better than leaving it there. Why? Because if you leave it there, you have to pay 6% a year 
on the money that you have uh, in excess there. So don't do that. All right. So we've covered uh, if you remove the excess before you file your taxes, we covered if you remove them after you file your taxes, but before October 15th, I'm sorry. I, yeah, it's just the way they do it. It's just a pain. All right. And the last one is if you did, uh, you remove the excess after you file your taxes, and after October 15th, this one's a little trickier because it depends on how much you've contributed in the meantime. This can be a little bit of a nightmare. Let's just fix it. Let's just get it out of the way. First thing you're going to do, remove the excess only, right? You're going to remove the excess only. You're going to pay 6% on whatever uh, how, a year for however long it's been left in there. And then if your excess puts you over the max contribution amount, you're going to pay 10% penalty plus taxes on the amount that you went over. So for example, if you uh, had 7,000 in there and you only were supposed to put 6,000 in there, the 1,000 subject to a 10% penalty, uh, unfortunately, you, you, gotta, you gotta deal with it. The bottom line is the IRS will find out, I hear this all the time, uh, and we have to fix it for customers that didn't do it, right? If you're one of our customers and you go over or you have done, done an excess contribution, I'll pick on you, right? We'll get alert. Uh, an alert we'll fix it for you and uh, we can move on before you file your taxes if for some reason you made an unqualified uh, contribution or something that we can't track of course just let me know we'll be sure to take care of that for you that's it i'm sorry that was complicated it, you know at the end of the day you, look you know your limits roth ira tra traditional ira six thousand seven thousand if you're over the age of 50 but they do get tricky if you earn too much money and things like that so if you happen to go over don't press send on the file uh, on your tax filing just yet I fix it first and uh, it can be fixed. So not a big deal there. Uh, hey, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. If I helped you in some way, hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate it. All that YouTube stuff, thumbs up, yay stuff. All right, appreciate it. See ya. Why should you choose Jazz Wealth as your retirement or long-term investing service? Our portfolios are managed by us, not some faceless mutual fund manager. Our private classes will teach you everything about investing and getting your dough straight. Best of all, our fiduciary standard means your best interest comes before ours.